You may have seen uh, an advertisement in various magazines, so on and so forth, for fix-it sticks. And it didn't look like much particular, and the price was pretty high. Well, they called me up the other day and asked me if I'd like to have some to take a look at. Uh, actually, what they were sending out was the uh, uh, putting out was a package of Glock tools. Now, this uh, obviously is a 3:30 seconds Glock punch. Uh, this, of course, is the 3:30 uh, um, seconds. I'm sorry, 3/16. Uh, tool to remove the front sight. So I said, actually, that would be handy and I'd like to have them and I'll show them. I said, but the problem is I don't have the basic kit. So if you want to send me one of those, I'll be happy to show them. So they said, sure. All right, well, let me let you take a look at this. These are nice, this is a nice item. Pricey, but a nice item. Now they come with the, uh, this part is locked into the base here and zip shut. And the uh, T-handle comes in here. Um, and uh, what I would do, as I'll mention right now, this comes with one uh, flat blade screwdriver and one um, Phillips screwdriver. If I had was going to take a gun with me to the range or go somewhere um, or keep this handy for whatever I was going to do, uh, and that gun used screwdrivers, I'd take those screwdriver bits uh, out of another kit, and I would put them in here and lock them up. And uh, that way they're, it's, uh, they stay uh, tight, they're out of the way, and you've got everything you need. Now, let me show you what we got here. This is um, the T handle. Now this one, the T itself, the long part is fixed into the top part. So it kind of looks like a hammer, but you've got in both ends, uh, you've got the uh, uh, hex, so you put whatever one you want in both ends, or you could put uh, two different uh, Allens or two different Torxes and a, a third one uh, up here. Now, you've got uh, hex bits and you've got Torx bits, but the interesting thing about it and what makes this as expensive as it is, is you've got Torx limiting bits. Now, you know if you look in brown L's and you see what the price of these individual Torx uh, limiting bits is, uh, these suckers are expensive. I mean, really expensive. Now, the uh, you know how Daryl is about wanting to make sure that the guard screw or trigger guard screws are in the correct amount and a consistent amount of torque every time for accuracy in your rifles and that you get the correct amount of torque onto your uh, scope rings and your scope bases. So, uh, that they're on the same um, amount of torque every time and that you don't over torque them or under torque them. Now, what do we got here? We've got 15 inch pounds here. We've got 25 inch pounds. This is 45 inch pounds. And the big one here is 65 inch pounds. Now, I will give you the bad news. Uh, this whole thing is going to run you uh, for MSRP. Uh, and I didn't look it on Amazon or some other place. I don't know what it might be selling for there. Uh, but these are $180 for the set. Okay. Now, you can get the same sort of stuff. By the way, I should have mentioned that this um, also has a swivel here so that you can put it down, hold it down, uh, and turn the top part and swivel it. So that's pretty handy. I'm going to show you the rest of these on on here. Now, these over here are both uh, like a T-handle where the cross piece here has a hole in it and you pull the extension uh, driver out of it. And you can see what the price is on those, uh, 45 and 45. Now, you get a kit over here with the uh, 25 and 45 pound torque limiter kits uh, for $112. Let me pull over to the other side here. The large torque drive limiters uh, are uh, uh, $40 a, is it over there if I can read upside down, uh, 40 bucks a piece. Okay. Now, the, uh, this is the miniature kit, which has everything that the big kit does here, except that rather than have the uh, swivel 
uh, piece here and have the multiple Torx drivers, all four of them, it's uh, only got three of them, but that's at $112. Okay, now the uh, Glock pieces here, the kit uh, is uh, 18 bucks, so now we're getting down to reasonable amounts of money. <clears throat> and then you can go over here to uh, 1911 bushing kit. Um, that's uh, only 10 bucks. And if you only wanted the Glock uh, 316 driver, uh, that's only 10 bucks. So, all right, that's pretty cool. Now, now we have uh, the one for if you're going to take your uh, AR-15 kit to the field. The, uh, you have the AR-15 kit in the soft case, which is 100 bucks, and in the uh, hard case here uh, is uh, um, $90. Now, you see you get with that the extensions, you get uh, uh, one torque limiter bit, uh, come over here and you can have uh, the accessory kit. One of them takes off your, uh, uh, the castle nut that holds on your stock uh, and the uh, uh, front sight tool, uh, et cetera there. Now, if you look at the bottom here, we've got a pick, uh, we've got a brush and we've got the uh, a sight tool by itself over here, okay? Now, if we go and look at this on the other side, um, these are all just the uh, individual parts. The castle nut wrench is only 10 bucks. Bolt carrier uh, scraper is uh, 10 bucks, and the bronze scraper is 10 bucks. And so, there you go. So, they, they, you can put together kits for most of your um, guns and this is really supremely high quality stuff. Now they charge you like it too, but uh, for those of you that, uh, you know, figure the only punches you can have are sterrets, uh, then uh, you're the kind of guy that, that wants one of these. So from Fix-It Kit. 